Hey guys, how's it going? It's Alpha here, and we are in the middle of the Dragon Challenge, and I'm going after the final stage, the True Dragon Realm today, and I'm doing this with my Shiva Dragon team, and you can see it's a pretty, uh, pretty good team as far as the cards I have on it, but I have um, only Echidna is max skilled, and then my friend uh, Shiva Dragon is hyper max with some nice rainbow uh, latents. So using the active skills is kind of an issue on this. Now it's, it's not one of the harder um, legend plus dungeons, but if you have been watching my videos, I've only tackled one legend plus so far, and that was Queen's Banquet, which recently uh, came up. So right here, you get different dragons the first two two stages, three stages, something like that. And basically, they're, they're, they're easy. There's nothing really challenging about these guys. I happen to get the blue one, the Glacial Dragon Niffle, Niffleheim, something like that. So he will wait four turns, and then he does that mouth wide open, skip a turn thing. So you just knock them down. They don't have a lot of HP. Here I got Omega Red Sky Dragon. And again, he has under a million HP, he has a very small preemptive, and he doesn't really have anything that's going to give him any trouble. So again, I'm just kind of matching stuff up here and trying to make sure I'm not using any actives. That's you know what, what's important. Like I said, um, I don't have my, my guys max skilled, so uh, the plan is to use the Echidna for, for delay on a certain stage and that will hopefully get me my actives back up by the end. That's that's the plan. I tried this before with Minerva in that final spot instead of Echidna, and I figured the fast orb changing would make sure I constantly have enough red orbs to do the damage, but um, did not work out. I, uh, Zerog, he, he took me out. So this guy is, uh, this is great, this is Wangren, I believe. He, he's, he is a set spawn, um, and he just makes red ore for you. So right here, this is when the dungeon can get a little tricky for a fire-based team. And obviously, right here, we're dealing with a blue uh, element dragon, and he's got four and a quarter million HP. So you've got to deal eight and a half million HP in five turns. So this is actually exactly why I brought the Echidna because I'm able to uh, stall through here and you can see I'm doing a decent amount of damage but not too much and I kind of make a, a, a dumb move here in a moment but the plan is to use up all these turns by then Echidna will almost be back up using the Shiva Dragon Haste I could have her back up next next stage if I needed to but I was looking I wasn't doing a lot of damage I didn't want to risk getting close and having to do um, my actives last second. So I figured, okay, I'm gonna pop an active here, do some damage, get get him down a bit, and then milk out the rest of the turns, and I'd be able to have my Sonata back up. Uh, unfortunately, I kind of underestimated the amount of damage that a row of um, enhanced orbs with some Skyfalls to boot, uh, and He's, uh, he, he goes away, and I wasted five turns there. So that was my first kind of big big mistake there, but it wasn't horrible. I still have most of my actives up, and you know with Shiva Dragon's haste, it does kind of get you out of a jam when you need it. So this guy's a pain in the ass. Uh, I forget his name, Stormwing Dragon uh, 3D. Oh, it's 3D, okay. So he's got 5 million HP, which isn't that much because he has a green element, but he's just constantly making jammers. He does a decent amount of damage, around 10,000, makes jammers. He'll do that two times. Um, I, I believe it's two times in a row. Then he hits for 20,600. And if you look at the team I brought, of course I'm a few plus eggs shy of having 20,600. I'm at 20,500, so that would be a kill shot for me. So once again, I decide that I'm going to use an active here, and I'm kind of, I'm using them quite a bit, but I'm counting on the fact that my Echidna will be back up and I should be able to, so that was stupid right there, I matched up my TPA um, at the end. I just kind of stupidly put that last fire orb I was moving with, but it was enough damage I was able to get uh, get by him. So, the <coughs> excuse me, this guy 
is um, a little bit of a pain because he will reduce your movement time for a couple seconds for five turns. And this isn't like a time extend heavy team as it is. So to have that go in, it's pretty rough. And, you know, obviously it's a bit of a concern because he will do, uh, he's right at the threshold where if I hit him again, he's definitely going to do at least 19,500 damage. So I'd have to heal up quite a bit and then hope I don't hit him under 30,000 or 30,000, 30% because then he'll do an attack that's about 30,000 and completely take me out. So um, I go ahead and kind of, honestly, I'm just kind of skipping a turn here. I, I'm, I'm getting some active skills up and trying to not do a lot of damage, knowing that I was going to heal all the way up and the worst I would get hit with is the 19,500. And at this point, I have to go ahead and use uh, Yamato, which is not ideal, but uh, given the options I have, you can see I'm just kind of deliberating if, if I should be using my actives at this point right before the boss. It's pretty uh, questionable. But I go ahead, make, an, uh, make a row, and again, with a reduced movement time, it's kind of tricky to get that off, but I pulled it off. So here I am with nothing but an echidna up. Um, now, uh, uh, what's his name? Zerog, he will go two times when his absorb is up, which is going to be when his turn is up, he will change to another absorb, light and dark. So obviously dark isn't ideal because I have dark as the final sub attribute and I can't really get, get out of that because that's what my, you know, what Shiva Dragon has. Um, but other than that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much in the clear. So what I'm doing here, honestly, is I'm just kind of stalling. I'm not doing much. So now I've got my Sonata Yukimura back up and I'm thinking if I should pop this active, but you know, just by checking out his turns, what I have coming up. So after this move, he's going to put another absorb up. So I kind of get a free turn there. And now his next move is a 99% gravity. So once again, I'm not going to be get killed, and now I've got my big boom up. So Erd plus Sonata Yukimura is an amazing uh, attack here. And unfortunately, I've got um, not an ideal board, but it's not bad. I, I kind of messed up matching there. But two rows of enhanced fire orbs uh, with a, a decent combo, and that's good night. That is just the, the sort of burst that this team could put out. It's pretty amazing. Um, so there you go. That was uh, my second attempt at True Dragon Realm and my first clear ever. And I was gunning for that dungeon hard uh, for a specific reason. So once I get by all this stuff, we'll see, um, you know, the reason I really wanted to land that, that uh, the, the, the booty from that. Uh, that was my, my friend Caliburn, who's got that amazing Shiva Dragon, Hyper Max with the Rainbow uh, Latent Defenses. So, okay, my, my box is sitting so full because I have, um, I'm waiting on the two times skill up, which comes as a gorilla today. So I gotta, I gotta get rid of some of this crap um, before I could open up my mail and all that. Anyways, while I'm doing all this, I, I want to thank you guys for tuning in, for watching my videos. You know, I'm having a lot of fun making these. I'm getting close to 100 subscribers, which is pretty cool. I started doing it just kind of randomly. Um, I was actually recording more to see how I cleared the dungeons so that I was able to uh, make the same teams and not make the same mistakes, that sort of thing. I, I have all of my teams, well, I was saving all my teams in Pad Herder so I could reference what team I use for when. And um, I started to make these videos just kind of as a more advanced way to, to log all this. And I figured I might as well upload it. And then I figured I might as well let people see all of the pain and suffering I go through through my God Fest. So, that, you know, that's always fun. But thank you so much for subscribing. I really enjoy making these videos. Um, and you can see I finally landed the last jewel I needed for Awoken Yomi. I had her maxed out and just waiting with everything I needed here. So here's the final uh, Tamadra that she needs to have all of her awakenings up and ready to go. And uh, and there we go, fully awoken. Um, 
And now you can see, I mean, looking at my dark box, it's not super impressive. So I've been piling up a uh, bad piece for quite a while. So now we can go down, let's get one, two, three bad peas. And we're getting those skill ups going, so that's awesome. Um, I honestly, I have a team set up for Awoken Yomi. It's not leveled or um, max skilled yet, unfortunately. So I might just kind of mess around with it, get used to the gameplay mechanics. Right now I'm actually kind of excited to use her as a sub for Awoken Sakuya. And because I have Light Kali, Light Kali, um, Awoken Yomi, and Indra. So that's like a time extend heavy. So I could try and get all those combos and get that high multiplier. And I actually keep a Google Drive spreadsheet of all of my inbox uh, in order so that I know where I have all of these things. So it's, it totally saves me from not knowing what's going on. But there we go. I have a fully maxed Awoken Yomi there, max level, max skill, all of their awakenings ready to go. Um, so I'm pretty excited to get to use um, him, her, you use it. And anyways, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Thanks again for subscribing. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, and I'll see you guys next time.